Right, uh, Jamie here. Uh, I'm still in Morecambe. I actually leave today, which I'm quite sad about. Um, I'm recording this before I go down for breakfast and whatnot. So, this is something I've passed quite a lot in the journey from wherever I've been, like likelihood the station in Morecambe, to where I'm staying in the Balmoral. Um, and it's Frontierland. So this used, it's an open space now, where like it was blue, it's now like blue fencing, like blue wooden fencing going across the whole way. And then there's like bit different, different bits of artwork that go across the, the blue fencing to make it look more nicer as you walk along. Um, so Frontierland Western Theme Park was a theme park in Morecambe literally less than five minutes away from me um on marine road west literally on i'm on that road where the balmoral is where i am is on that road from 1906 to 1999 of and then consisted of only traveling right in 2000 now there is videos on the internet of frontier land which i'm not going to show because of copyright reasons um but it gives you an idea of what this theme park was like because when you when you walk past it now it's just a green space and then it gives you it kind of watching the videos on youtube of like the different things that happened like the different that like the carousels and like the little rides like concession stands it was just a fun thing for everybody families children etc and then for it to just be gone so bear in mind 2000 and it's 2022 now so like yeah it's been 22 years of nothing so if you think about it that blue fence that you walk across that you walk past is in has in theory been there for 22 years i mean i'm not saying it has been but if it's shut in 2020 if it's shut in 2000 then yeah so let's have a look began to close in 1988 but it, okay uh, the definitely the demolition of the park was due to take to take three seasons to complete. Uh, I'm trying to okay, rents are sold. That's what is that the fire No, there isn't. It's just an open space. Does Markham have a theme park? No, it doesn't. When did Markham burn down? Oh yeah, so there was a pe one of the piers, it was one of the piers along Markham and it did burn down. Uh, West End Pier, that's literally not far away from, he that's literally like five minutes down the road from me. So instead of like, it burnt down, so instead of it being refurbished and like, rebuilt, they just knocked it down. <laughs> they just completely knocked it down. So that was 1978, so that was a well long time ago though. What is Markham very famous for? Uh, for having a dangerous bay, I at no point, whenever I've gone to bay or slash seaside resorts, whenever I've been to like Morecambe, I've been to Berwick, um, I've been on the beach pretty well. You can't really do the beach in Berwick, uh, but like when I was in Southport, certainly I was on the beach. Um, you can't, and like with the Blackpool, you can do the beach. Um, but you can't really do that in Morecambe because of how the bay is geologically formed. Because the, because the tide comes in a way that you can kind of get caught out. And the majority of the bay itself is quicksand. So you really need to know where you're walking or you'll sink and die. Unless somebody sees you, which is unlikely. So it's not smart to walk on it. What's the biggest bay in the UK? Markham Bay. Yes. What else is there? Is Markham worth visiting? I want to see what the comment is now because considering uh, 
<coughs> leaving today. Yeah, I, I think it is. I think it's worth coming. Which is better. Oh, shit. I think Morecambe's better than Blackpool. Hands down, it wins. Blackpool is just, part of my language, it's shit. It just is. Morecambe is a more scaled down version of Blackpool, but it's nicer. But what I want to do is do another video, like sitting down and talking about Morecambe. In my opinion, plans for the future, what I think of Morecambe. Can you walk, can you walk across Morecambe Bay? Uh, I wouldn't do it though. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> is there any quicksand? Yeah, there is. Yep, that's why. You, that's why you can walk from one to the other. Well, you've got to know tide times, where the quicksand is and where it isn't. And like the actual official way you can go. If you don't know that like I do, just stick to the roads and stick to the promenade. What's the most expensive seaside? I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this in a minute. Uh, seaside town. I reckon it's. I uh, I think it's Brighton. Salcombe, Devon. Shit, that's expensive. What's the best seaside resort in UK? Well, of course it's gonna be Whitby, isn't it? Whitby have been to Bamber have been to Cromer have been to. Um, has it got a beach? Yes, it does. How fast? Very fast. How does he get out of quicksand? Someone's actually done a video on it. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's crazy. Right, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, talking about Frontierland and then, as you do, get distracted. So thanks for watching uh, and goodbye.